um, he's a really funny guy. He thinks he's funny, but sometimes he is funny. He's a charming dude. He's, you know, he cares about his mates and he cares about his family. Um, and he's, he's a talented player, you know what I mean? He was quite a good kid, actually. A um, bit of a handful. You know, um, likes to talk a lot. Pre-game, he loves to do, do his little dancing around to his music. And, but the moment he steps on that field, he just turns into this like machine where he just barges through the defence and whenever he gets the ball, he's just, he's just great attacking. My name is Cam Bradley Evans and I'm 21 years of age. I was born in Sydney at Camperdown Hospital and have one brother. My mother, Jeanette Evans, is Fijian and my father, Peter Davis, is Australian. Yeah, it's funny, when I go over to Fiji, the Fijians think that I'm Australian, but when I'm in Australia, the Australians think that I'm Fijian, so I'm still trying to fit in somewhere. When we went back to Fiji, yeah, it was, um, it was good because we went back to the Fijian ways. We ate Fijian food. We had church every morning, 7 o'clock. So it was just good getting back to the culture. So it wasn't just the football, it was um, football, traditional ways and journey with God. If you went to go to church here, um, like in the Australian culture, it's not that strict. If you don't go to church in Fiji, you get a slap in the head. <laughs> so it's... He worked hard and a lot of people don't understand how hard he worked. He pretty much dedicated his whole life at a stage when he was like about 16, 17 to training and he, tra he just trained hard, didn't go out and he is where he is today because of that. Yeah, it's crazy that um, I can actually be in the gym pumping weights with Sonny Bill and players like Jared Rhea Hargraves and that. It's just it's still crazy every day going and training with them. So I'm privileged and I'm, I'm blessed to have the life that I have. Like looking up to, to all those players that I train with. I used to watch them on TV when I was little and now to get the chance to train with them, it's just crazy. But hopefully one day I, could, I can be that to a younger kid growing up. That role model, yeah. Probably one of my biggest goals to play with the Fijian team. He wants to actually, wants to be the best of the best. And he states, that's what I will be doing, Mum. He goes, regardless how far and how tough it's going to be, that's what I will be doing. So I hope he goes and exceeds, you know, beyond his wildest dreams. If, um, yeah, represent Fiji, that's what I'd like him to do, definitely. Yeah. Woohoo! Sorry. <laughs> no, I'm sure he's be extremely wrapped to um, represent, represent his country and he's, um, yeah, where he comes from. So yeah, I think he'd, and I think he'd be a great asset to uh, the Fijian team. He went to a trip when he was younger and he basically came back and he humbled him, you know, and he just talks about, you know, how, how proud he would be to play for Fiji and represent his family and represent his people. So it'd be, it'd be good. <laughs>